All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Chicago Bears and the San Francisco 49ers. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Let's go. Ready up. Mark, Mark. Check, check, Get it. They'll run on first down. Evans. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point. The run even better. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. On second down, a run with Breida. He's got the first down here inside the 30. Touchdown, 49ers! Matt Breida hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now a 7-0 game. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Come on, so first and 10 70, now from 80. the 30. General West. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Hey, Charlie. Here's a second and seven. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers. And somehow, some way, they make plays on the football. And sometimes you're there too soon. On first down, they go right back to Cohen. 
A gain of three, second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Looking to throw. And he'll go down at the 28. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. They'll set up to throw. He finds his man, Johnson. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Call that a very strong gain of 24. They'll drop the throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. When you get your backs in the shadow of your goal line, you've got to be physical in that situation because there's not a whole lot of space, not a lot of wild plays that can be run there. It's put up or shut up time defensively. Nice job just to make sure they didn't. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Extra point try, good by Gano, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And still a lot of football to be played in this season. We're only in November. A lot can happen between now and January. But if it ended today, they would just be on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. So a lot to fight for. Yeah, and wasn't it interesting in our meeting with, with the coaching staff that they all made sure to let us know, we know where we are right now, but the playoffs don't start tomorrow. We still got some time, and they plan on putting it together, formulating a streak, get the whole month of December still left to play. They think they can get in. And they made it very obvious to us that there's no playoff talk in the locker room right now. It's win this game and look to next week. Excellent focus. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Second and 10. They'll get this into the hands of Burita. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 44-yard line. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. They're going to look to throw. And this one's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll look to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. First down and run with Cole. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop ready, before ready. it turns into something Ten big. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Nick Bosa in there to bring him down, and that is sack number 17 now on the season. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Back to throw here. This is Johnson. He's got it. 
And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A gain of 32 that time. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now back to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Boom with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll set up a throw. That's going to be caught. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bears have taken the lead. Gano the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Set now to kick this one away. And off it goes. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Come on, switch it. Eddie Weapon. Check three, check three. Second down and inches. That'll be complete to Brita. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. That play was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not able to find any yardage on that one. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Brita. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 25 yards the pick up there and also a first down. Boy, some big runs here, Charles, already in this first quarter. Yeah, the lanes are there. Go ahead and exploit them. But what I like the most, how decisive he is. Putting his foot in the ground and going. He'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Go, go. They're running in step. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Back to throw. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 26. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 15 for the Niners there to first down. This quarterback now rebounding nicely after the interception. He's hit four straight to start the drive. It's first down. On first down, it's Evans. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now keep in mind, if you're thinking of staying on the ground, this is a top five rush defense. Yeah, but I don't think you shy away totally with the run. At least show them the hint of a run before you decide to throw the football. On second down now, it's Evans. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. 
Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. He'll drop to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. DeForest Buckner in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. This office line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. And tatter, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. This is Cohen. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Second and 11. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely love for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. They'll look to throw here. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. 
Ja'Kai Polite has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. He'll look to throw. Here in the top five in sack. He rifles one that's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. He's at the 30, past the 20, 10, 5, and into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. How about that for a little jolt right before intermission? You're talking about taking momentum into the half with you, and so many teams have an emphasis on trying to score in the last two minutes of a half to carry that with them. It's not often talked about scoring on defense, though. That's extra mode. And now they may take the lead into the locker room as well. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Down. 60 or. Hey, two. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. Oh, get it. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. And since they still have 10 yards to go, they'll just say, let's roll this over to third down and decline it. Let's just be honest about it. If you can't get them off the field on third and 10, then something's wrong with your defense anyway. No sense in taking that penalty. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and 10. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Tarverius Moore. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings us one all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Here's Burrito. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. They come out here in the eye. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Debo Samuel, his second touchdown on the season. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. The extra point splits the uprights, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, look at the clock here. You're inside of a minute. First half hasn't gone that well for you. How are you going to play the Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Able to find Shaheen here. 
Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. This quarterback now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Looking to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially and for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll set up to throw. Check down to Breida. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it. Leaving him with his third and one. They'll throw now on the final play. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we send you cross-country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. We got this. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 20 At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide-open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. They'll drop the throw. He's going to wind up and air it out. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. Oh, and this turns into a mess as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. At the 46 Let's go. They'll run on first down. It's Evans. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. Second and 13. They'll set up a screen for Breida. They find some open field here. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 
That one good for 26 and a first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Again, he'll drop the throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. On second down, it's Evans. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is it? Yeah, defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here. And this is going to be intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Gano for the extra point. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Ready, ready. The 49er 94. offense set to get this drive underway. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. On, Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Back to throw here. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. So, Brandon, we've sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check, five. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. He's at the 50, the 30, 20. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle. 92 yards. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Well, they were back in the shadows of their own goalpost, and that flipped quickly. So much for playing it safe. I mean, a conservative, easy call. Run the football, take care of it, create some space, pump the ball away, but no. Let's throw it. And sometimes a defense's aggressiveness is used against them because when you've got people backed up, your natural inclination is to try and really force them back, and sometimes they get burned that way. And they got burned there. Ready, break. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, 
and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Come on, QB, come on. Lost 56. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, get in the way. They'll set up a throw. His throw incomplete. Adam Shaheen was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. They work again hey, from the 38 on second and 10. Hey, Wahoo! 56 to Mike. 56 is the mic. Second and ten. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Debo Samuel, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Niners take advantage of field position on the turnover to catch this one in. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. On first down, Cohen. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Second and one. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. He gets this complete to Shaheen, the tight end. And it's a fumble. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But, hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Frank Clark, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Running out of the gun here, Brita. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Go, go. Leo, Leo. Twist, watch the twist. You go tight. You got tight. You got tight. Now. Yeah. They'll look to throw. And he 
can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game. And boy, they've really played well attacking the football. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Bears take over. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> So now second and ten after yeah, the incompletion yeah. on first down. Hey, box truck, box truck. 56, right there, right there, 56. Watch that. Dude. He'll drop to throw. Over the middle, the tight end Shaheen with it. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 33 yards that time. Here we go. Eight feet. Hey, dude. Back to throw. Gonna throw deep for the end zone. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver. And now it's second down. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. He'll look to throw. Under pressure and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Nick Bosa in there to get him, and that is now sack number 18 on the season for him. Now back to throw. And he's going to be taken down. They sack him on what will be the final play of quarter number three. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Their already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Nick Bosa, and the 49ers are going to get the football back. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> They'll keep it on the ground. Evans. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. The 20. Touchdown, 49ers. A big play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead is now 24. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it six points, so 
They've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over. Every oh, Cohen lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game yeah, with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Yeah. On first down, here's Breida. And an alley to run. A nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. What we got? What we got? What we got? Now a handoff here to his running back. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. The Niners on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Check nickel, nickel, nickel. Hey, Sam off. He's got the double two. They'll keep it on the ground. Evans. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. And this one is right through. And that'll push the lead from 24 up to 27. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not there. And he loses the football the second time. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. So that is now two fumble return touchdowns you talk about something that's going to drive a head coach crazy. Without a doubt. But for the defensive guys, once you do it once, you create a frenzy. Everybody wants to get involved, and they got it done a second time. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will extend this big lead. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it, but you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. Again, it's Cohen. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. The Bears on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and 11. They're going to look to throw. Able to find Shaheen, the tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Watch the run! Watch the run! Get it! 
They'll run on first down. Jefferson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Second and 11. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Here comes the Bears punter now. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds and it'll be spotted. They spotted at the 14-yard line. 60 Pittsburgh. Squeeze, squeeze, double, double. Five. And they take a knee. And they will take a knee here. The quarterback on the keeper. A loss of a yard. It's now third and 13. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And they'll indeed take a knee. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. As an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for San Francisco, their playoff chances take an uptick as they move to 7-4. and four. And they'll get another home date next week as the Packers will come to town. Meanwhile, for Chicago, their luck may have run out as they fall to 4-7 and seven now in the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.